Hello, it's Randy Rhodes. Here's a clip from our show, and go to randyrhodes.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a second podcast. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. A radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe it. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. The Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. The deadly church shooting in Texas overshadowing President Trump's Tokyo tour. So sad. Sutherland Springs, Texas. Such a beautiful, wonderful area with incredible people. Who would ever think a thing like this could happen? At a joint press conference with Japan's prime minister, the president offered his condolences while calling the shooting a mental health problem at the highest level. Mental health is... Your problem here. This was a very, based on preliminary reports, very deranged individual. But this isn't a guns situation. I mean, we could go into it, but it's a little bit soon to go into it. Too soon to talk gun control. He said the same thing in the wake of last month's Las Vegas massacre. Despite his immediate call for changes in immigration policy in the wake of last week's truck rampage in New York City. Mm -hmm. What he is willing to talk about here on this five country Asian tour, North Korea. President Trump not ruling out military action while declaring Pyongyang a threat to the civilized world. The era of strategic patience is over. (laughs) <laughs> Some people said that my rhetoric is very strong, but look what's happened with very weak rhetoric over the last 25 years. Look where we are right now. And we have a new ABC News Washington Post poll to tell you about this morning. Take a look at these numbers. An overwhelming majority of Americans say they do not trust President Trump to handle North Korea. That number is 67 percent. As for the job that he is doing, 37 percent approve, 59 percent disapprove. Robin and George, uh, he still enjoys strong support, overwhelming support from his base. Oh, for Pete's sake, for the love of Jesus. I, I just, uh, it, it's Monday, so there had to be another mass shooting. See, uh, it's America, everybody. This is what freedom smells like, death. Our freaking gun lifestyle is killing us. Oh, God. And he's standing over there in Japan looking like a complete and utter moron because to get a gun in Japan, I mean, it's like you got to jump through hoops with a dog and have flags in your mouth and be able to bend over and contort and then show reason why and then only in the home for self-protection and then possibly, uh, you know, the uh, ammunitions under lock and key. But here, hey, man, here, everybody gets a gun. Every And he's, uh, oh, this is a mental health issue at the highest level. That's what I think every time I see him. That's what I think I'm looking at every time I look at him, a mental health issue at the highest level. Oh, I just couldn't believe what he said. This is not a gun situation, everybody. It's not a gun situation. And I think that uh, mental health is your problem here. This was a <laughs> it's your problem very, here. Based on preliminary reports, very deranged individual. Mm-hmm. A lot of problems mm-hmm. over a long period of time. We have a lot of mental health problems in our country, as do other countries. But this isn't a guns situation. I mean, we could go into it, but it's a little bit soon to go into it. But Shut up. You know, if we have the same mental health problems as every other country has, how come every other country doesn't have the same death count that we have by gun? How, how is that? How is that possible? We have the same mental health problems that other people have, uh, but, uh, you know, uh, we give guns to... And remember, remember, when he first became president, what he did by executive order, he made it easier for people with mental health issues who couldn't even manage their own affairs, who needed somebody to help them fill out the paperwork because they couldn't do it themselves, they could get a gun. He overturned an Obama executive order that said you couldn't, and he said if you did have a mental health issue... And you couldn't manage your own affairs and you needed help with, uh, you know, filling out your disability application. You shouldn't be excluded because that would prejudice the mentally ill. Now he says, uh, you know, you're asking me what we got here. What I'm saying you got here is a mental health situation. Here is what you got here. That's what you got here. You know, I, I, seriously, a gun situation, he called it. You know, we don't have a gun situation. 
because shootings have nothing to do with guns. Thoughts and prayers, everybody. That's what we offer. That's what America offers. Thoughts and prayers. Unless, of course, you're black or Muslim, in which case we scrub uh, the Emma Lazarus poem right off the Statue of Liberty. Your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. Got to go. Got to get them out of here. Go, go, go. Oh, and by the way, over the weekend, this story got buried because everybody else has to get buried. Tamari. So this story got buried. But uh, we have people in this country who have been here for 20 years. Yes, 20 years under a program known as Temporary Protected Status. Uh, They are from Central America. Hi, Costa Rica. Hola. Hola, amigos. Hola, familia. I apologize. Lo siento mucho. Mucho para, para mi presidente es un idiota. Secretary of uh, State Rex Tillerson sent a letter to the acting DHS secretary who was, you know, only acting, you know, badly. No Maggie Gyllenhaal here, Elaine Duke. Yes. Oh, did you watch that, everybody? Did everybody watch the deuce? Gotta say. she Maggie Gyllenhaal, she's genius, man. I've never seen anybody that free. In my life. It's insane. That That is just unbelievable. But anyway, uh, he wrote to her to tell her that conditions in Central America and Haiti that have been used to justify a protected status here in the United States for people who have been here for 20 years, who have their children born here, who have 275,000 American citizen children between them, uh, the protected status is no longer uh, necessary. And so they can go and they should ready themselves for deportation. I swear to God, this is unbelievable to me. Their protected status will expire in early January. uh, And they all came here. They were exempted from deportation after major earthquakes like the one in Haiti that killed 200,000 people. Uh, Hurricane Mitch, oh, all the way back in 1998. So um, routinely their their protected status has been renewed each and every time, you know, for like a year, a year and a half. Uh, now all of a sudden we're saying, uh, no, you have to go. Uh, it, it, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, we have to watch this story because uh, they haven't uh, decided what to do yet, but it does look like Flynn. Uh, t- uh, Flynn. Oh, Flynn's in trouble. It does look like Kelly. You know, you get all your, uh, you know, your freaky generals uh, con- confused. Oh, speaking of general, you know, did you see this article over the weekend with these admirals that were identified as being on the take? I mean, like hundreds of our admirals on the take with Fat Leonard, some freaking guy who was paying them off and the Paradise Papers and everybody who's not you. Everybody who's not me apparently has figured out a way to make freaking money off of Russians. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's it's just it's a sick freaking country. The DNC obviously was dirty. They obviously picked Hillary. uh, Well, they uh, Hillary was the DNC. That's the story there. But uh, let's just stick to the shooting for just a brief moment, because, you know, it's too soon, everybody. It's just too soon. It's always too soon. You know, October 1st was the, uh, uh, the Las Vegas shooting. And it was too soon to talk about it. And whoops, there it goes again. It was too soon. And what did I say? It's, it, you have to do it now because there'll be another one. And here we are. Here we are. 64-year-old men are now able to take out 58 people from th- uh, 30 stories up. Okay, because of this this weaponry, because of these uh, weapons of war. I mean, it's unbelievable. And people are going to tell you this uh, stuff about about this 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 kid. Okay, and he was 26 years old, ex Air Force. He was uh, court martialed. It appears he assaulted his wife, his child. You know, I mean, he's a bad guy. Got a year in the brig, and then was released. No one notifies anybody that this guy is, you know, a a, a degenerate uh, wife beater that was punished. You know, I mean, does the Air Force have procedures? The Army, does the Navy? No, you you revere us so much. I got news for you. Stop revering us and learn. Just learn. If you're in the brig, if you've been court-martialed, 
We don't make, you know, uh, 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 distinctions in the military between misdemeanors and felonies. We don't. If you're court-martialed, you sh- you're, it's a felony, period, even if what you did was a misdemeanor in real life. Because you give up your, your, your civil rights when you join the military. You become GI, government issue, and you live under the UCMJ, the Uniform Code of Military Justice, not the Constitution, okay? And so if, if you are court-martialed, it doesn't matter what you did. Once you, Article 32 is invoked and, you, and you're, 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 you know, adjudicated guilty in the military, it's, a, it's like a felony outside. And, by the way, the law says somewhere that if you beat your wife, you shouldn't have a gun. You really shouldn't be able to pass background check. And yet, idiot boy here who had both those things going for him. Oh, yeah. He beat his wife. He beat his kid. He was in the brig for a year, court-martialed, uh, busted a couple of ranks. I think he made it to sergeant. Now they, 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 they threw him out as an airman. An airman. An E1. Lowest rank there is. And he was able to buy a gun at Academy Sports and Outdoors in San Antonio. Able to buy a gun. Not a gun situation, Trump says. Nope, not a gun situation. Fortunately, somebody else had a gun that was shooting in the opposite direction. Otherwise, it would have been as bad as it was. It would have been much worse. I don't know what he's talking about in this monotone voice of his, but this has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that this guy threw his gun on the ground, got into his truck and ran and then killed himself. I don't know what's wrong with him, particularly right now. Maybe his meds are low. I don't know. But uh, this is a mental health problem at the highest level. It's a very, very sad event. It's a, these are great people and a very, very sad event. But that's the way I view it. Thank you. That's the way I view it. Thank you. I don't give a rat's ass. We're all out here. You know, everybody, oh, it's the price of freedom. For who? Am I free to move about the country? Can I go to a movie? Can I go to a concert? Can my kid go to elementary school? Can they go to high school in Colorado? Can they go to church? Can they go to church in North Carolina? Can they go to church in Texas? Can we go to a Luby's diner? Where can we go? What can we do? This is, this is the price of freedom. Freedom does not smell like death, okay? It's just, uh, the, the, you know, let freedom ring, to, you know, should not have the pungent odor of de- decomposing corpses and, and, and a vision of maggots, you know, uh, coming through your eyeballs. I mean, this is just ridiculous. And all we have to offer, thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. You know, I, I, I tweeted that the NRA could actually, because, you know, he said, oh, God is going to protect every, God this and God that. Yeah, he's like the least religious president that we've seen come down the pike, okay? Uh, but God this and God that and thoughts and prayers and thoughts and prayers. And, you know, I tweeted out, the NRA could actually kill God with an Uzi or an AK or an AR. You know, they could actually kill God. And they would still say and do nothing because the Republicans are cowards. The Democrats are disorganized. They can't uh, figure their way out of a paper bag. They rigged their own primaries. But the Republicans are cowards. And I would rather, you know, have a story come out that my that that, that the party you only get two <laughs> in a presidential election, you know. The Electoral College being what it is and all, you get two people out of 350 million. What a great system we got over here. That's a case of mental illness at the highest level. But honest to God, man, I'd rather have somebody that, you know, said, hey, I'm going to fundraise, but I get all the money. (laughs) Than somebody who looks at me in the face and tells me, if the Muslim name is, a, is a, you know, uh, associated with the death, then we must do something about immigration laws and extreme vetting, which we already do. But if it's a white guy, it's just, you know, hey, he had some mental health issues. It's not a gun thing. Go to RandyRoads.com for the whole thing and a podcast. Buy a stinking podcast.